This is a story about simulation in the real world. It's a story about how I was able to use SOLIDWORKS simulation while on a trip to Peru to help a real person answer a question about a real world structure. Here's what happened. Yesterday, I left the United States and I'd been traveling for some time, like maybe four or so hours, on my way to Tanaka, way, way down in the south of Peru. And on the way, we made a pit stop at the Nazca Lines. Now this really is an amazing site. You gotta check it out. So here I am in uh, Nazca in Peru, about four hours south of Lima, about 400 kilometers south of Lima, here in this arid desert, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. But what we have here behind me is one of the coolest sites in the entire world. It's the Nazca Lines. It's these geoglyphs. And the best way to see it is that tower behind me. So there I was, and there was this woman named Luz standing around looking all worried and concerned. It really was the cutest thing. So I had to ask her why she wasn't enjoying the sight like everybody else. Why she wasn't up at the top of the tower getting a great view of the Nazca Lines. How come you're not up there with everybody else getting a great view of the Nazca Lines? Oh no! How do I know that I say? How do I know that it's gonna be not enough to hold the weight? She told me she's nervous about walking up it. And honestly, I don't blame her. I mean, it doesn't look safe at all. So that made me think, is it safe enough? Is it strong enough? Those are questions we as designers ask ourselves every single day. But the thing is, with SOLIDWORKS simulation, those questions don't need to go unanswered. And I couldn't just leave loose there without sharing this with her. And what if I could tell you that we could virtually test it. We could do it on a computer to simulate it before you actually go up there. How would that sound? Would that make you feel better? Yeah, of course, that would be great. <laughs> All right, so let's go take a look. I brought her over to the car, opened up my laptop, and quickly set up a simulation of a tower, just like the one at the Nazca Lines. So I have a model that represents this tower. The geometry is pretty much exactly the same. Here's my tower. So we can zoom this around, spin this around, right, zoom in and out. But what I want to show you is this, all right? So, so here's the model. It represents the geometry that we're looking at here. It represents that tower. It's made out of the same material. It looks exactly the same. On top here, what, I, what you'll see is I have a load. These arrows representing a load. I'd say about 10 people. We'll say 10 people. Sounds good? Yeah, okay. Um, then I have the feet, the bottom of the base, held in place, right? It's exactly what we see here, but represented digitally here in this virtual model. So what we're curious about is, is this strong enough to hold the weight of all these people? That's what you're worried about, right? Is it safe enough? Yeah. So using SOLIDWORKS, we can run this model and we get a results that look something like this, right? Look at how that's caving in there. That's not good, right? No, that's not what we want. We don't want that, do we? Uh -huh. No. Wow. Yeah, not good, huh? Uh -huh. All right, let me uh, zoom in here a little bit more so I can show you what this looks like. So let me animate this plot. Let me show you what that looks like. So here it is, look at that, caving in. That's not something you're gonna to wanna to get onto, right? No, absolutely not. However, look at this, this number 458, it's actually being exaggerated substantially, right? So this isn't what it really looks like. I turn this off, there it is, true scale, that's what it looks like, you can't tell the difference, right? It looks fine to you? Oh, uh, yes. It does, right? So what many designers look for is, is our design safe enough, right? Is it strong enough? Well, luckily for us, in SOLIDWORKS simulation, we actually have this plot here called a factor safety plot. So by showing this plot, actually, actually by showing this plot, what I see here is a factor of safety of 3.6. That means that 3.6 times the amount I loaded it can be on there. That means 36 people can be on there before it breaks. How does that make you feel? Seeing it virtually here, tested, letting you know that 30 or so people can be on there safely and you're fine. Does that make you want to go up there? Oh, yes. I know for sure now that it's going to be safe. Yeah. I can go. All right. Yeah. So, 
And the best part was how simple this is. It was so quick and so easy. I applied the materials, the loads of, I don't know, 10 or so people and ran it. SolidWorks took care of the rest. Now my favorite part was with SolidWorks Simulation 2016, we can automatically bond and connect all of the components together, even shells and solids with gaps modeled in. And that's great because, I mean, most of the time we do, we model, most of the time we do model gaps for things like welds. Within a matter of seconds, I had the results and I shared them with her. Now, at first, it looked horrifying, but the thing is, you always, always have to look at the scale. In this case, the plot was exaggerated by a few hundred times. So I switched it to true scale and the plot looked great. I then showed Luz the factor of safety plot and she got that warm fuzzy feeling. That feeling of knowing it is in fact strong enough, it is in fact safe enough.